So, um, actually, it's been like uh, 25 years na wala akong kapuli sa Bacolod. So, I was really planning na ma-ano, ma-lakad. So, I was very, ano, parang na-depressed ako. Kaya, you know, I already had plans. I, you know, I set a leave for for that month, the whole month. Supposedly, lakad sa Pilipinas ko. And then, na pandemic, so, muli na naman na yun. So, you know, it's been, this is like the third time it happened na mga puli ko tayo nito, so wala na nakatabo muna. Mm-hmm. Na-delay for the third time ang imong plano to yeah, come Yeah, for home. the third time. Ang, ang first was 2009. 2009, so gusto ko magpuli, galing kay I was in, at school. So, supposedly, ang graduation ko sa una was supposed to be uh, June. Pero na delay kami, so you know, I um I already had plans of going home in July. So hindi ko makano kaya kin siyempre pag graduate ko. And then after that, 2015 naman, so ng atong uh, reunion sa high school. Was it 2015, di pala? 2015? I think so, kaya wala ko kakadto eh. Yeah, 2015, supposedly dapat ara ko to. Galing kaya I changed jobs a month before. So ang ako nga employer, he wouldn't allow me to, to go home. So, amo na. And then, actually, this is the fourth time na Jules. Kay, sa naglaglag bala, abo man na, I already, I was already in the airport, and then the girl told me na may incident daw na gano'n, na amo na, na may laglag bala sa Manila. So, mm-hmm. just be very careful daw. So, right there, then sa airport, nag-back out ko. Mm-hmm. Pinadlukan ko. And then, ito, so, ari na naman mm-hmm. ng pandemic, amo na naman na. <laughs> so, first, it was the laglag bala, and then, The second now is the pandemic. It's the pandemic, oh. Uh, you are working in California as ano gani? I'm a nurse here in California. Oh, uh huh. And, and then on you the felt, side, yeah, oh. I do my business. <laughs> oh, nice. You felt depressed because of 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 that uh, incident. Kaya wala ka na How bad uh, was that, your depression? Another factor, siguro. That's one of the you know the major factor na. Mm-hmm. na affect sa akong nga depression but you know also isolation because you were just home for for like three months and then mm-hmm. you know you just have to go buy your groceries and come back home so hindi ko ka wala ko na anad sa amusin na, na lifestyle because here in California we always go out like every week mm-hmm. you know you enjoy the outdoors and blah, blah. sunny California you know oh, oh. Mm-hmm. in fact until now though teenager lang gaya punchura mo I th- thank you, oh, grabe ba? Hindi ko may tinijay nga muna, sigul it na eh. Richie, uh, you felt sad because you couldn't come home and then yeah. you opened a food truck. Oh. Actually, it's not a food truck. It's a uh, food caravan, caravan business. So, usually, there is a LA. It's a, it's always a long drive for mga Filipino cities. Dere. So, like, This is Amunsa Valley, this is a Filipino city, and the next one will be in Cerritos, about 34 miles. So, ang business ko is that I sell, um, you know, homemade goods, and then instead of them driving to my place, mm-hmm. they, we go there, and hindi naman kami na deliver gamit up lang kami in one place. Mm-hmm. So, Amuna, so, part of the reason na nag-open ko sa business is because of my, of my depression, Mm-hmm. Pero, um, you know, my doctor told me, do something good na you think would um, other people would benefit. So, amo na, gin-share ko ang mga ito na ilonggo, um, ang ingredients ng mga recipe sa ila. Kay, I felt, kung, ang feeling ko, kung ako, na for straight ko, kayo wala ko kapuli, how much more ang iban? Oh. They don't have the means to go home. Do amo na bala. Mm-hmm. And that is very interesting because ang concept mo is, Like here in Negros, may ara concept of of the market day no or the tabo kun sa oriental. So what uh-huh. you are doing is like gatabo ka sa mga Filipinos and then you sell uh, your products. And interestingly, ang ginimo mo is instead of you coming home, gindala mo ang taste of Negros dira sa California. Was that the intention? Yes, amugina. Kay ako ang ang ako na ginya you know ang ang ako na intention ng mapuli was to eat ang mga pagkain sa Bacolod ng lipat na ko sa mga sabor na mo na pala mm-hmm. I know I know how to cook them but laing ginya ngara dito di ba kaya experience mm-hmm. mo ngara ka to so 
Amo na, gin ang concept ko, sila ko, anong imuon ko para at least baka bullying pa ko sa mga tao. At the same time, ma- ma-share ko ba lang ako ng recipe sa ila. So, amo na. Mm-hmm. Ano kitang nahidlawan mga pagkaon sa Bacolod? Nahidlawan ko inasal git, kagang kansi. <laughs> kansi. <laughs> Natambok yung blang kansi ako. <laughs> Alright, Pichi. Tell us something about your products. Ano ang alan sining mga produkto ni mo? So, I have two businesses. Ang una is, uh, this is the first one that started. Yung ang hapon nga bake, uh, baking baked goods business. It's called Sweet Valley Delights. Mm-hmm. So, basically, it started again siya sa banana bread. Amuna. And then, you know, I advertised at Instagram. Nadam ko nag-order sa hapon. And then, I started uh, on my birthday. Uh, I, I opened Bacolod's Best Chicken in Asal. So, Abuni, mm-hmm. this is a homemade chicken in Asal. Uh, with uh, made with uh, authentic Bacolod recipe. Mm-hmm. Amo ni. Sa family here loom pa rin amo. And then we have tapa, mm-hmm. may ala kami achara, may mm-hmm. napoliones kami. Amo na. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's it's quite interesting because you do both savory and and uh, pastry. Yeah. Uh, ang savory mo is of course your chicken inasal, your tapa, nano pag it? So far, ang muna na, sa unsang ligad to, I had a uh, uh, pork barbecue. Pero di gindiskutin niyo kung kahit kadaro na mo issue sa pork dray. So, you know, mm-hmm. I don't wanna poison people, da abon abla. <laughs> uh, I had a uh, pork barbecue nga ang sabor yan. Yeah, Tapos sa strawberry shortcake sa high school ka bala. <laughs> Danay. Ah, ang ginatambayan sa tabok. Oo. Oo. Sa mula ang sabor yan. Sa nagapamantay ta, galabay nga mga babae sa saints ko. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> very, very interesting. Okay, ang Napoleones mo is inspired by what uh, pastry maker sa Bacolod? Ay, Pendis. Oh, ang kay Jabo. Di si Jabo, ato nung mga classmate. Of course. Ang kailangan nyo nga magpagkaon sa Pendis, siya, bugi na nung duduban ko sa high school. Mm-hmm. Kung baga, I relieve the memories based on the food that I, I sell. Ah... Mm-hmm. Uh, Ang pendis nga napoleones is not the too sweet nga kind, no? Yes. Uh-oh. Just enough sweet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ang imo yung chicken inasal is an heirloom re- recipe. Yes, it is a heirloom recipe. Ah, uh, sila nila sa mga ilonggo, direkad mga taga-pakolod, sila nila ang sabor lapit-lapit ko sa Aidas. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Hindi ka pwede ka padala, de? Hindi ah, pa padala ako kay Ara Canada. <laughs> Actually, I get a lot of requests from other states na you know, gusto oh. nila i-ship ang, ang inasal. But then it's mm-hmm. food free. So, you know, it's a health concern issue. So, mm-hmm. wala ko ka take a risk. But maybe in the mm-hmm. future, kung may means to do it, why not? Mm-hmm. But how did you learn how to cook? Did you take ah, up cooking classes? Ever since kami, we, you know, every, every Sunday, required kami to, to have our own, you know, um, Either you make lunch or dinner. Required mm-hmm. dad, dad dam lamang sa una. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, hindi ka pwede ka gawa sa Sabado. Pila na oh. sa day. Kapalok mag ano. And that is very interesting for someone yung nag-eskwela sa Lasal, ha? Oo. Oh, hindi man. I mean, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are doing that as well. So. Mm-hmm. Um, ikaw lang ni Isa or may partner ka sa imo business? I have my partner. Ako na partner. Pusa <laughs> na partner. So mm. right now, since medyo before when we started, though I mean I was the one doing both, pero mm-hmm. subo medyo nagbigin popular na ang nasal. So and then ang aking ang ako nga pastry business medyo nagbago man siya ng gutay. So mm-hmm. siya ang gahandle sa pastry and I do the oh. nasal business. Are you earning enough from this business that it makes you think na mauntat ka sa pagganers? I would say as of the moment, hindi pa, hindi pa siya mm-hmm. stable since, you know, it's it's been less than a year pa lang. Oh. But I'm looking to retire uh, nursing kung magdako na siya. Mm-hmm. So, ang magigit ba ng ultimate goal ko is to concentrate on this business. Kedria, when you're working, mm-hmm. ang tanan mga earnings, suga ka na lang sa government. Unlike, you know, unlike if you have a business, mm-hmm. you're on your own boss. So, you know, yes. In, you can make as much as you want, depending on the strategy. Richie, what I find inspiring with your case no, is the fact that 
you had a bout with depression, but instead of, of you know, uh, it's, it's mental health is mm -hmm. a very, very pressing issue, subong, eh? especially sa kabataan. It is. But, but in your case, because you don't belong to the millennial or the digital native nga nanoninga generation kita, Gen, Gen mm -hmm. X tabla mo or Gen Z, uh, <laughs> nangita kaya way to cope with your depression. Yeah. And uh, tell us something about it. Kaya inspiring ng ginubra ni mo. Yeah, you know, when I, at first, I didn't even know that I had depression. I, although I know it clinically, they separate their school. So I think mm. people that may depression sila. But as a nurse, ang mga nurses, is there, we are very unstopper. And so, hindi ko pa na accept at, the, at first time. But then I had like, you know, like uh, episodes na nga do, patapag isa ako, I don't want to get up. I just stay in the room for the whole day, mabula bala. So then I realized to acknowledge, uh, you know, uh, wala tabu sa akin if I don't acknowledge my depression. So abuna. So you know when I talk to my psychiatrist, um, balis sa akin abuna the find ways to keep your mind busy. Abuna be. So I took off from work and then para change environment and then I started doing the you know cooking for people. Ang nagstart kina siya I cook for my friends just to make them happy in the time of mm -hmm. the pandemic. Kaya kabud like kaya I, 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 you know I, I. I I think I'm also feeling the same na ilang na na, na, na ano na feel nga nga isolated kasi mga tao do amo na bala. So I started cooking and then I find it very therapeutic. Kay ang wala na ko time para maminsan. Mm. I just cook and then at, the, at the end of the day I'm so tired. At the same time I'm making money. It's not big money that I, you know, when I work, I do overtime so mas dako ang kita ko. But then you know, it's hard earned money and happy ka what, what you're doing. At the same time, when people um, tell you, oh, you can have some support, some mga inasal do amugli sa bakol, lai ng feeling. So amo na mm. ako na it inspired me to do to it more. Actually, na nag-open na ang mga ano do na slow down ng business. A mm. lot of people are calling me, saling nila kung magkuntat ako kono amo na blab. Mm. They're asking me kung magkuntat ako kay sing la mas special orders so no no no, no. it eh ano ko man japon i continue ko kay it makes me happy eh. it's not mm. about the money anymore it's just it makes me happy indeed Una. i can somehow identify with you because when i had a stroke in 2015 mm -hmm. i did home cooking no uh, to well, of course preoccupy your mind mm -hmm. and what i find very very inspiring about this is there's a relationship between working and battling depression Mm -hmm. Because may ara common nga problems mo is makon may ara mga younger generations nga gafil sila sang bisan hindi pagani depression but anxiety palang yeah. uh -huh. or sadness they mm -hmm. would like to think nga it's better to sulk and to stay in your room but it's not eh you have it's to move not, yes mm -hmm. uh -oh. anyway uh, Richie I won't take up much of your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to tell your story. Salamat. Of course. Thank you, then. Uh, thank you for having me. I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, an honor to talk to you after how many years? <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> communicate